Welcome back to Comic Vantage, and today's video is an old friend. What do we got? Came in the mail today. Loot crate time. If I'm not mistaken, today's or this month's theme is robotic. If I'm not mistaken, and it looks like this box doesn't turn into anything this month. And that is because, if I'm also not mistaken, they advertise something that is in the box that you actually get to build. So let's cut this thing open and let's find out. All right, set that to the side so we start putting the box of stuffs. All right, first up, we got an alien little figure thingamabobber. What is this? Queen takes Bishop. From Fat Mojo. Let's see what we got. 17 plus adult collectible. Oh, that's actually cool. It's a little build it yourself. Queen alien action figure with a bishop that has been speared through the chest with her tail. Look at that. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. I like that a lot. Awesome. So, first item. That's a win. Second item. We have a Star Trek The Next Generation comic book. I guess this will follow the robotic theme because there is Data and it's the origin of Data. Oh, cool. Also Loot Crate exclusive comic book. All right, see this is the thing that they were actually advertising on their website. A collectible 3D wooden model kit. Look at this thing. This is insane. God, look at all the pieces you're supposed to get. And a little R2 when you're done. Wow. Okay, that is just a little bit of awesome. Man, that is so intricate. Oh, he's actually, it's all laser printed on there. So you can actually paint it afterwards. This feels like balsa wood. Actually, it's a little bit thicker, sturdier than balsa wood. I actually can't push my thumb and in, thumbnail into it. Wow. Man, how many pieces are in there? From the looks of it, I am seeing 79 distinct pieces. Wow. Incredibles. I guess that's supposed to be him there when he's completely built and painted. I've actually seen a lot of those metal model kits. Oh, and there's actually a book all about R2-D2. That is so cool. Man, this thing actually makes this month's crate alone awesome. Alright, instruction manual. Wow, look at that. And like I was saying, I know I've seen those metal model kits before. It's always interesting picking one of those up. I did hear, though, that they were kind of a bitch to put together because they slice your fingers because of all the sharp edges. This looks like a happy medium. Wow, that is so neat. I actually might get around to building this sometime, but not right now. Oh, the concept art for R2-D2 and C-3PO there. Good old picture of Kenny Baker getting into the suit. Wow, oh, yeah, this book is actually cool. The whole history of R2. And a look inside the ultimate astromech droid. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Alright, next up, I got the book Robotic. Shows you everything in it. Oh, see, that's what the Queen Alien and Bishop look like. That is pretty cool. An old shot of the R2 there. <laughs> All right, that is neat. Our loot crate pin is a little loot crate robot. Nothing too exciting. And let's check out the shirt for the month. 
Oh, it's a Blade Runner shirt. For Blade Runner 2049, Wallace Corporation. Okay, that is kind of awesome, too. And there's this crazy pattern. I don't know if you can see it in the ink there. Oh, you know what? That might be glow in the dark. We will have to test that. And, oh, but I was wrong. The box does become something. It becomes a box of cereal. And you actually just pretty much turn it inside out. There's the nutrition facts. It is made from nanites and fiber optics, silicon, ground graphite, carbon fiber, stainless steel fibers, copper, zinc for galvanization, manganese, silver, gold, robot oil, nanites, limited duration, shape of memory alloy, natural colors, and flavors. So now we know what robots are made out of, in case you ever wanted to consume one. That exclusive Mr. Adam inside is actually the Queen Alien. That's supposed to be the free gift in the box of cereal. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. I like that. All right, so this has been sitting under the light here for a while. So let's kill these lights and find out if this thing is really glow in the dark. Here we go. And ka Oh, you can't see it because it's a little too bright in here, but that is totally glow in the dark. Oh well. Lights on. <clears throat> but yes, the Wallace logo glows in the dark. It's actually like a, a PCB pattern, like a circuit board pattern on here. I wish you could see that. Anyway, hey, that's all the awesomeness for this month in the Loot Crate box. Actually, this is a really nice box. I like everything in here, minus the pin. But, you know, you don't buy a Loot Crate box for the pin. That Bishop statue, awesome. Comic books, love them, as you can tell by the channel name. And R2-D2, I love Star Wars. This thing is so cool. Uh, maybe I will do a build video later on on this. Next, maybe do a time lapse or something so everybody can see how this gets done. So, for this month's Loot Crate... Huge thumbs up. Good job, Loot Crate. I like it. That doesn't seem like a lot of stuff, but everything in here, super quality. So, and uh, yeah, so everybody, thank you for watching. That's my video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Get all the crazy notifications of all the cool stuff that I do. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I want to talk to people. So, uh, thanks. And until next time, take it easy.